All right, guys. So in this video, we're actually going to be turning on the bot and you know having a live conversation with a lead, and uh, showing you just how easy it is to to book appointments conversationally. But to do that, I'm just going to go back to my uh, high level, go to the custom menu link. So we left off on the FAQs. There's a few other things here on the side here, right, which we'll you know get into maybe in some other support guides. But the follow up messages are extremely powerful. So if you want to follow up with the lead, usually what you guys would do would have to make a GHL workflow, all these if else branches, you know, had they responded yet. And then you would send them a hard coded, you know, preset um, follow up message. But this will actually follow up with the lead with the AI generated message um, based on the conversation, right? So it'll only follow up with people that the bot is active on. And the other condition is that if the last message was outbound. So it's not going to follow up with someone who responded and they're waiting on a response, right? Um, but yeah. And then for the instructions, it's super, super simple, right? All you really have to say is just follow up with the lead, you know? And I'm going to make it two in five minutes just for the sake of the video so we can actually see the follow-ups. Um, but you could have it, you know, be a couple hours, a couple days, um, anything, right? So that's the follow-up. Um, and then we have the custom variables. This is probably, you know, definitely the most powerful feature of, of Roho, right? Uh, you can actually add tags, update custom fields. Even if the field doesn't exist, it'll actually create and update the field for you, right? Um, but let's say had DK before true only if the lead specifically says right so what this is going to do is basically going to read the conversation and if the lead says yeah i had my car detailed before it's going to add that tag it's going to return as true and then it's going to use the ghl api to add that tag to the contact so this can be super powerful you know um i've seen a lot of people do some really awesome and creative things with uh, this feature but again this is sort of advanced but um yeah so that's the follow-up schedule in the custom variables um now let's actually get into the uh, workflow guys so it is so 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 simple to use roho um it's actually very incredible right but to get started the only thing we need from this ui is the bot id so we're going to go to general and we're going to copy the bot id uh this is basically going to uh, tell the you know the back end all the python code uh which bot to respond with so again i just went to general press copy bot id so i literally deleted all the workflows from this um sub account right fresh sub account and we're just going to create one from scratch um you know press continue so we do have snapshots right um and i'll be you know going over the the self-selling you know ai uh, snapshot where you can make test spots for people but the reason we don't have a snapshot posted is because guys it's so easy to use and it's literally only one workflow step right so what i'm doing here is i'm just making a uh, trigger right the contact tag is added um because all you guys really have to do is decide when to turn the bot on so this workflow is basically just going to be a trigger to start the bot and that's all you need um and then so basically it's going to uh, add the AI bot active tag. And as long as that tag is on and the other tag is on, then the bot will respond. But all we're gonna do is basically decide when to turn the bot on. Um, again, those triggers can be uh, Facebook form fills, regular form fills, keywords on Instagram comments. Um, but to actually start the bot, we're just gonna go to actions and we're gonna scroll down here. So this is the app that we installed, right? And we got the start AI bot um, action right here. So we're just gonna click that. And now we're gonna paste our bot ID in that we copied from the custom menu link. So paste that in there, okay? That's going to tell, you know, the back end uh, which bot to respond with. And then lead info. Um, so this is also very, very powerful. So you can, you know, kind of pass in specific um, information about this leader, about this conversation to the AI. So you can say leads names, contact that first name. Maybe for real estate, right, you would say, okay, like, um, their budget is this. They're looking in this area, right, anyway. Um, and then we can select the uh, channels. So we have SMS, Instagram, Facebook, live chat, WhatsApp, email. Um, I'm going to select SMS, guys. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to add two tags. So it's going to add a tag, SMS underscore this bot. And then it's going to add a tag AI bot active. Um, and then through GHL's API, we actually have the ability to trigger code um, through webhooks when an inbound message comes in. You can see the type of message, right? Um, so you guys don't have to have any other workflows for this other than you know deciding when to turn the bot off. But that's it. You don't have to have you know like a customer reply trigger or anything. Literally just starting the bot. Okay, so I'm gonna name this start Archer's detailing. Press save. I'm gonna add this, right? So now to get the bot started, guys, all we have to do is trigger that workflow. So I'm going to uh, add myself as a contact here. All right, so I'm here on the uh, the contact, right? And I'm just going to add a tag. All I'm going to do is trigger the workflow, right? Start Archer's Detailing. So that tag is going to trigger that workflow and trigger the custom workflow step that I've coded that's going to start the AI bot. And if we click on automations here, right, you'll see that we're active in the Start Archer Detailing um, workflow starting the bot okay, give it a couple seconds
All right, so you can see now that it's added our uh, bot ID tag as well as the AI bot actor tag, and it has sent out that uh, first intro message personalized with the lead's name, remember? So now it says, hey Charles, thanks for clicking on our ad. Are you interested in getting your car detailed? I'm just gonna say, yeah. And notice I just sent it one, two, three, four, five texts in a row. Um, and that's a really, really powerful feature of Verho that I've made, right? It's the message here. So normally any other bot would trigger five times and send five responses back. Or maybe they would, um, you know, trigger once and not see any of these messages. But we have it set up so it's basically a queue. So it's going to read all of these, comprehend them, and generate a response to send back, right? So it sent one response back. Absolutely. The dirtier, the better for us, right? We're here to uh, make it look brand new. Have you ever had your car detailed before? Okay. So you can see it's moving on to the, the next step in the script, right? Like it's supposed to. But at the same time, it's addressing the lead and their messages that they sent. So let's go actually go to conversations here. Or, yeah, let's go here. Again, so I just responded. And by default, guys, it, it does uh, wait 20 seconds um, for the message queue. So the message queue is 20 seconds, um, and then it will actually generate the message and send it out if it is the uh, the last message in the last 20 seconds. So, All right, so there you go. It's on to the next step. And notice how it's only sending two sentences. Um, that's the, also another really, really powerful thing about Roho. It's really the most conversational two sentences is you know unheard of um any other ai you'll see literally sends paragraphs kind of off-putting um for leads right but you can't respond and say yeah for sure i'm gonna go here to conversations all right so now it's on that last step of the script and now it's about to um you know ask us if we want to book a time so let's see uh you know what happens Okay, it said 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m. Let's say. All right. So it's very, very good at handling objections. I'm going to say anything later, right? Awesome says, so no worries. How about later in the day? You have availability on Monday at 3 or 4.30, right? Um, so I'm actually going to pause the video right now, guys, because I wanted to send those follow-ups. And I'm going to show you um, the power of the AI follow-ups. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, everyone, I'm back. And if you check out our conversation now, you see our first message that was sent out, right? No worries. How about later in the day? But then one minute later or two minutes later, our follow-up, our first follow-up went through, right? Just checking in. Did either 3 or 4.30 work? So this is a follow-up generated from AI based on the step in the conversation, right? And then again, we had one for five minutes. Hey, Charles, just wanted to make sure you saw our last message, right? Um, and again, I just set these for two and five minutes just for the sake of the video so we could see the follow-up, right? But this is how our users are able to book, you know, thousands of uh, booked calls every single month. Um, so I'm going to actually say, okay, 4.30 works. And now it's actually going to parse that and book it directly on our calendar. So it's gonna use the GHL API to actually create an appointment um, with this lead and book it directly to your calendar, right? So give it a second to generate. So as you guys can see, it uh, successfully booked us for you know the time we agreed on, 4.30. And then it said, great choice, got you down, right? Go ahead and confirm that. Booked us directly on the calendar. But if we go here to um, tags, so if we go here to tags, right, you'll see that it added our um, had detailing before tag, which is our uh, custom variable. So we know that this lead has you know paid for detailing services before, but it also added this AI book tag as well. Um, so to turn the bot off, guys, at this point, you know maybe we want to turn the bot off and hand it to... Uh, you know, maybe an automation to send them follow-up messages for the for the um, booked call, or you know, maybe you want to give them a call. But all you have to do to turn the bot off is just remove the AI bot actor tag. Um, and we can also make an automation, right? So if you want to turn the um, bot off after uh, they book a call, all you have to do is just make a simple automation to remove the AI bot, act AI bot actor tag. So to turn the bot off, I'm just going to 
make a trigger contact tag added AI booked or maybe you just want to have it you know from an appointment so when they book an appointment right and then all we have to do to turn the bot off guys is just remove the AI bot active tag so the AI bot active tag is really um, like the on and off switch for the AI right um, so now whenever the uh, lead books an appointment it's gonna turn the bot off right but that's literally how simple it is to start you know booking qualified appointments with Rohe all we did was make one automation and not just one automation one step right just literally one step all we're doing is just basically telling the bot when to turn on um, so again adding a contact tag or from a form fill so maybe you have Facebook lead form submitted right and then we're just gonna start the AI bot but again welcome to Rojo guys uh, super super excited for you guys to start booking appointments uh, with Rojo and if you guys have any questions just you know message us on the support widget down there uh, it's actually a real person right it's not AI but yeah Hopefully this was helpful and I'll, yeah.